So let's go ahead and dive in on your workout today. You're gonna be very sweaty. It is a 20 minute Tabata. So 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off, eight times through. So we will do four minutes of mountain climbers. Again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We'll do that eight times and then you have a one minute rest. Then we're going into tuck jumps, same thing there, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds. Then we have our one minute rest. Then we're going into eight rounds of pistol squats, one minute rest, and then eight, uh, your last round is gonna be floor press. Does anyone have any questions on how that workout kind of flows? Mm, nope, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. We're gonna do a little bit of wrist mobility real quick just for those mountain climbers. So go ahead, drop down into your tabletop position. Spread those fingers out. We're just gonna shift side to side eight times. After that, you have five circles each direction. After that, fingers are gonna flip going towards your body. We're gonna go side to side eight times. After that, you can rock back on your wrist five times. Five circles each direction. Go ahead, tops of the hands on the ground. Same thing, side to side, eight times. You can rock back five times. Five circles each direction. When you're done, you can intertwine your fingers. Make a few circles. Shake them out. And then we're gonna dive into a four by 15 warm up. So we will start with jumping jacks. Then we will do air squats. Then we will do groiners, 15 seconds on each side. And then we'll do that again, but the stretch is gonna change for the last 30 seconds each time. So first one's gonna be your groiner, and then we'll move into some other stuff as we go. Clock's going up, starting with jumping jacks in 10, one and go. Three, two, one, and squat. Three, two, one, and a grinder, 15 seconds on each side. And switch. Three, two, 
One, back to standing, jumping jacks. This time, his arms across the body. Three, two, one, and squat. Three, two, one, hamstring stretch. If you want, you can swoop. And switch. Three, two, one, back to jumping jacks. Three, two, one, squats. Quad stretch in three, two, one. And switch. Three, two, one, back to jumping jacks. Three, two, one, and squats. After this one, we will lay down on the ground and you'll find yourself in scorpion unless you wanna do that along the wall. Three, two, one, and scorpion. 15 seconds on each arm. And switch. Three, two, one, and I want you guys to go ahead. Let's find somewhere where we can stretch out our calves. If you would rather do downward dog, that's fine. We are gonna spend one minute on each leg, stretching out those calves to get us ready for our pistol squat or whatever variation we choose today. I'll give you 10 seconds to find that spot. Five, three, Halfway. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch sides.
a little over halfway. Three, two, one, and go ahead and relax. All right, so movements we have today, we have mountain climbers, we have tuck jumps. If you would rather do single unders or double unders or jumping jacks instead of tuck jumps, I'm totally okay with that. Um, tuck jumps are a lot more exhausting than those though. You do um, use more energy trying to jump as high as you can while pulling those knees into your chest. But either way, as long as you guys are moving, that's fine. Um, pistol squats, you kind of either, you got them or you don't got them. First, it comes down to your ankle mobility. If it's trash and you have really bad ankle mobility like me, um, pistol squats are really challenging. Um, it also has to do with if you have really tight calves that pulls into that ankle mobility as well. And then it kind of from there goes from your uh, hip mobility and then just overall squat strength and single leg strength. So if you don't have them, it's fine. We're going to go over some scaling options there. And then floor press today, um, we can use some cans or we can do forearm push-ups and we'll go over that as well. So let's start with mountain climbers. what we want those to look like. You guys are gonna start in this nice, pretty plank position, driving up the shoulders, not dropping down hips, aren't sagging. From there, we're staying here in this plank position, pulling those knees up into our chest. What I don't wanna see is this, but rather for you guys to try and challenge yourselves, keeping those hips nice and low and pulling those knees up. You can go really fast, or you can go really slow if you need to. Either option is fine. Let's go ahead and start with a 20 second plank. That plank will start in five, three, two, one, and up. You guys should be squeezing your butt. You should be pressing up through those shoulder blades like you're a big scary cat. Your child might sit underneath you. <laughs> And I want you to start pulling those knees into your chest slowly, 10 seconds. And we're going to speed it up right now, go a little faster. And now I want you to go all out, pulling those knees into your chest starting now, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. So there's a few different ways that you can do mountain climbers. They're all great. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That was about 30 seconds there, so you have an idea of like, hey, which one do I wanna do? You can mix it up each 20 seconds, make it a little bit different. After that, we have the tuck jump. So all that is, is we're gonna be here, slight dip, we're going to press through the floor, jump as high as we can, pulling our knees up into our chest. When we land, we want to try and go right back in to the next jump. <sighs> Exhausting. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm going to put 20 seconds on the clock again. And we will start jumping in three, two, one, and jump. Ten. Three, two, one, and rest. Yeah. Fun, right? <laughs> So after tuck jumps, we have pistol squats. So what a pistol squat looks like, we'll see if I uh, fall on my butt or not. Single leg squat. 
Yay. We all know I only did that because I have weightlifting shoes on and they have a beautiful heel to help me out. <laughs> so if we have pistol squats, awesome. Um, if not, options today include a curtsy lunge. So you can bring that foot behind, drop the knee, knee touches the ground, stand up, squeezing our butt. It can also include a kickstand lunge. This is my personal favorite. So we can start with a flat foot, you can start with toe on the ground, or you can lift your leg up, lean forward, and then drive out of the bottom from that lunge. So I want you guys to go ahead, do three of each variation. Let's go ahead and do three curtsy lunges on each side. And then I want you to try three kickstand lunges on each side. If you're not a big fan of any of those variations, I'm also fine if you guys just wanna do a normal lunge, mix it up, throw in some side lunges. Or if you don't like that, you can always do air squats or a goblet squat, everything works. As long as you're using your booty and your legs. After that, we have floor press. So you guys will be laying on your back. We'll bring those feet close to our butt, drive the low back in the ground, and then we'll press our cans or our dumbbells up. Elbows are gonna be at a 90 degree angle. They're not going to be right by my ribs, but they're not going to be past my shoulders or um, equal with my shoulders. So they're going to be slightly down to protect those shoulders. If you're like, well, I am not doing floor press today, you will be on your forearms and you can do these from your knees or your toes and then drive up onto those palms. So let's go ahead. I want you to work through five to six floor press, or you can work through three to five forearm push-ups. Sergey, if you want to scale up, you could also do like planche style push ups, diamond push ups, Maltese push ups, anything that's exhausting. Does anyone have any questions at all? Now's the time to unmute, ask away. I will give you. Two minutes to run, use the restroom, grab water, grab a piece of paper and a pen if you want to keep track. Most people usually don't want to though because 20 seconds and then 10 seconds of rest is usually not enough time to write anything down. Otherwise, you guys have about 90 seconds left and I would love if you did some stretching if anything still feels tight probably those quads, or your ankles, definitely your hamstrings. Got about 45 seconds left. Hey, Sam. Yeah. 
So tuck jumps, if I burn out on those, what else can I do? <laughs> um, I mean, you can do like, do you, where's your jump rope? I can't jump rope inside. So yeah, our seal, I don't think our ceilings are high enough. I don't know for sure, but I don't think they are. Um, I mean, you can always, I know jumping jacks aren't super fun. Um, but that's kind of like the next option. I would do like lateral hops just to mix it up a little bit, just cause we don't get in a lot of lateral work in like CrossFit period. Um, so lateral jumps are great. Just jumping of some yeah. kind. Do you have a box? Okay. I was gonna ask, do you have a box, but you might knock your noggin on it, yeah. the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead, pass out your virtual high fives. And our clock is going up. You guys, I got AAA batteries. The clock works again. All right, so starting in 10, mountain climbers are first. Five, three, two, one, and go. Five, three, two, one, rest. Gonna go by quick. Four, three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, and back to moving. Three, two, one, rest. Five. Three, two, one, and go. Let's go, Joe. Five, three, two, one, rest. Four done, halfway. Three, two, one, and go. Five, keep going, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, and go. Nice, Lindy, super quick. Let's go, Monica. Halfway, guys. Five, three, two, one, rest. Five. Three, two, one, go. Come on, we only have two more. Then you get a whole one minute rest. Let's go, Sergey. Five, three, two, one. Monica, were you just planking? <laughs> That's okay. It's still hard. Three, two, one, go! Come on, last 20 seconds. Let's go, Jordan. Let's go, Molly. 
10. Five, three, two, one, rest. So that clock is gonna beep a few more times. Don't worry, I'll tell you when you're getting ready for your next set. I had to write it down so I would know what intervals we were on. Next one that we're doing is the tuck jumps. You can also do jumping jacks. You can also do jump rope. You could do hitchhikers. Rosie, if you remember those where you like tap your foot onto a chair. So we got 30 more seconds. You could do butt kicks. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, go. Let's go, Jose. Nice job, Jordan. Five, three, two, one rest oh leslie's doing um skaters skaters are a great option too three two one go Ten. Nice job, Maggie. Nice job, Elizabeth. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. We have three more intervals. Five, three, two, one, and go. Ten. Five. Three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, you guys. Let's go, Isha. Come on, Shivani. Where'd Isha go? <laughs> She's gone. Three, two, one, rest. One more, uh, yeah. One more. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Jordan. Let's go, Rosie. Nice work, Joe. 
10. Five, three, two, one, rest. Again, just hang out. I'll let you know when we're going. One minute. Jose, you good? <laughs> What's the next movement? The next movement is pistol squats. Yeah. Or lunges of some sort or squats. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. This next one is your halfway point. Three, two, one. Let's go, Maricela. Let's go, Quinn. Nice job, Leslie. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice job, Monica. Okay, Molly. Nice. Five, three, two, one. Molly, I didn't know you were like a secret pistol squatter. I can't. <laughs> and go. Three more intervals, guys. Let's go, Sergey. Nice job, Joe. Sorry, I jinxed you. Three, two, one. Two more times. Jordan, are your quads gonna make it? You should have worn stretchier pants. Go! Let's go, Maggie. Let's go, Robin. Come on, Liam. Halfway, 10 more seconds. Nice job, Lindy. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, last time. Nice job, Sergey, keep it up. 
Let's go, Maggie. Three, two, one, and rest. Almost done. Floor press is that last one. Got 40 seconds. Thirty. Ten seconds. Who's going to floor press Keon? Oh, sorry guys, go, 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 go. Ten. Five. Three, two, one, rest. Five. Four more intervals. Three, two, one, and go. Ooh, yeah, Leslie, get it. I jinxed you too. <laughs> Ten. Five. Three, two, one. Jordan, floor press your cat. <laughs> and we're going. Let's go, Quinn. Nice job, Molly. 10 more seconds. Come on, Maricela. Three, two, one, rest. Two more times. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Sergey. Get those hips up. Ten seconds. Let's go, Joe. Come on, Jose. Five, three, two, one. One more interval. You guys got this. And go, last one. Let's go, Maggie. Come on, Rosie. Nice job, Lindy. 
Come on, Robin. Come on, Liam. Don't stop. Keep moving. Five, three, two, one. You are done. Great job, you guys. I want you to go ahead very quickly, find yourself in pigeon pose or figure four on the ground. We're gonna hit one minute on each side, starting in 10 seconds. So quick, quick, quick. Five, Halfway, if you want, drop that chest towards your knee. Go ahead and switch sides. And go ahead and relax, guys. Nice job. That is it for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Great job.